um, on our on our YouTube channel, um, which is at the Job Center of Lake County IL. In addition, uh, you will receive a copy of this of the presentation in a PDF uh, version uh, within an email. And in this email, you'll also have a short survey um, that we would like to ask for your participation so we can get your thoughts about uh, today's information and any other topics um, that you would like to hear in future presentations um, from the account executive with the business services team. Go to the next slide, please. So for those of you that may not know me, my name is Wilson Geraldo. I am an account executive here at the Lake County Workforce Development Department, um, part of the business services team. Next slide. So today's agenda, I'm gonna break it down. We're gonna discuss briefly the business services that we provide to local residents and um, employers. Emerging trends, We'll have industry details of technology, uh, skills. We'll look at hard skills and soft skills within the information technology industry. Uh, careers, uh, employer presentation. We also have um, an employer IT expert systems. And Ms. Haresh will go into details about um, the different opportunities that they have as an employer, as well as other trends uh, that he see out that he's also running into, right? Um, and then uh, upcoming uh, events and questions. Now, questions during the presentation, you are um, you're able to submit any type of uh, questions that you may have during any of the topics, but we will answer those questions at the end um, with the additional questions that the uh, our guests may have. All right, moving on to the next slide. All right, so uh, business services, the business services team is led by the workforce development. Um, it is an integrated team of account executives uh, seeking to connect employers and the workforce. So workforce development helps local businesses develop and implement training programs for current and potential employees. Our program offers workforce solutions, which is the first column. The second one is workforce training, and then our workforce ecosystem, which is made up of different um, entities or organizations like the Community College, CLC, Lake County Partners, uh, Lake County Tech Campus, and the Job Center of Lake County. Next slide, please. So before we get started, I want to go ahead and um, send out a quick poll question. What is your level of experience with the IT industry? So we have entry level, zero, zero to two years of experience, an associate, three to four years, um, mid senior level, five to nine, director, 10 to 14, and executive 15 plus years experience. So we'll take a couple of seconds to let everyone answer. And then we'll share the, um, the responses. All right, now, don't be shy. Go ahead and select uh, an option. If you have no experience, just go ahead and enter uh, entry level. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, share the results. So we have about 17%. Uh, entry level, 33% uh, between the associates, um, level three to four years of experience, and then director level between 10 to 14 years, we have at 17, and then 33% of our audience. All right, thank you. All right, so before I get into the emerging trends, um, I wanted to share a, a great article that I found from the Society of Human Resource Management. And 
this article was by Nicole Lewis um, from from Sherm, and basically goes into uh, well the, the article topic uh, is IT workers will be hard to fill and keep in 2022. So what they're discussing and what their findings was is that um, three recent published reports suggest that while the demand for technology will remain high in 2022, skilled IT workers will be hard to find and difficult to keep. Um, the respondents predicted that in, 20, in 2022, they'll have a, an overabundance of difficult IT problems to solve, which include uh, maintaining strong cybersecurity for a hybrid workforce um, of remote and in-office workers, which is roughly 83%, um, managing the turn, uh, return to office, right? Health and safety protocols, the software, the apps, um, and, and data. So that was roughly around 73% as well. Deciding what technologies are necessary for their company um, in the post-pandemic future, around 68%. And recruiting technologies um, and filling open tech positions was 73%. So as you see, um, all industries right now are in a shortage of, of um, in hiring shortage, staffing shortage, right? So here's a great opportunity for individuals that are looking to get into the IT industry or to upgrade their skill sets um, and their experience. And, and today I'm gonna touch on uh, four main sections, which are gonna be the artificial intelligence, AI and machine learning, uh, augmented reality, AR and virtual reality, blockchain and cybersecurity. But there are more, right? So there's cloud computing, um, there's data science, there's you know IoT, Internet of Things, um, robotic process automation, RPA, and user uh, interface slash experience design, UI and UX. Next slide, please. And so part of these um, topics, you know, there are also some additional ones like. Um, some lingo that you're going to be hearing if you haven't heard them already, like Web3, uh, which is also known as uh, Web 3.0. Um, and I'll give you a quick definition of what that is. It, and this will lead into the trends and usage of AI and uh, ML, which is machine learning. So it can be defined as a third generation of online services where AI-based somatic AR and VR-based immerse, immerseness and blockchain-based um, decentralizes and come together to create a transparent and ambiguous, um, open and social responsible internet experience. And an example of that is like Apple Siri, right? Um, you're gonna see more applications and, um, and also Alexa, where you're saying certain uh, questions, right? Find the nearest, um, I don't know, pizza shop or, um, emergency room, and you're entering that into your, your phone without having to type anything. You're just opening it up and doing that. So you're going to start seeing a, a lot of that, um, as well as the metaverse, which is a, a network of 3D virtual worlds focused on social connection, um, futuristic in a sense, where you're having uh, a virtual environment and you're interacting Right, so all this, these types of uh, um, verbiage, you're gonna start seeing more, but in AI and machine learning, this is where you're looking at um, the like natural language uh, processing, right? You're taking uh, speech to text, um, you're having chat box on websites, you have a question and websites, you know, you'll see those little chat boxes on the bottom. Those are, um, they might have a live person or they might have a artificial intelligent um, chat box, uh, a chat bot that will answer pre-defined uh, questions and um, with answers that a lot of uh, employers or companies out there are doing that. So all these things, they're gonna need individuals that 
have experience with that, you know, data science, um, creating different types of uh, uh, databases that will populate these questions uh, with answers so they can start building um, their database. And that's where you're gonna look at machine learning. Machine learning will take that information and start um, applying those questions to different uh, responses. I'm sorry, uh, the answers to each of those questions um, automatically and where to send that individual to if it's to the uh, billing department or so forth, right? We've all kind of experienced that when we call, it could be our insurance agency. And as you start, um, they'll start asking you, you know, is this a billing question or a, um, you wanna submit a claim, right? So these are all examples of where you're seeing um, artificial intelligence uh, and machine learning, all right? Next slide, please. So industries um, expected to face the most disruption by immersive technologies. So specifically um, in this graph here, you're gonna see that in the healthcare and medical devices, right? So um, this is being utilized where doctors um, are, going in in a, in a virtual environment and actually working on, you know, like on, on patients, on um, simulations, right? They have the, the actual hands-on, um, but you could also have a doctor say in New York do an operation in California, right? Um, by having this um, artificial intelligence or virtual environment, and being able to control a robot um, at the other end and, and, and do the surgery, right? So these are ways that in the healthcare industry, they're utilizing this technology. They're really um, breaking ground on ways of doing uh, very like intensive surgeries um, and a matter of, of, of uh, you know, hours scheduling someone and having that specialist getting on there uh, and doing that surgery, all right? Um, and education, you're seeing a lot of uh, education uh, institutions providing um, virtual learning, right? Um, and as well as the workforce development and training um, and manufacturing, right? And manufacturing, you can have a uh, assembly line put into place at a new location and look at uh, run simulations of what type of um, injuries can be prone to, uh, what, what inj injuries can be uh, occurred if certain safety measures are not in, uh, in place, right? So they can kind of run through that type of simulation. Uh, so those are some examples of where um, AR and VR are being utilized in these types of uh, industries. Uh, next slide, please. So with all these different um, technologies coming out, there has to be some type of um, security. Now, the use of blockchain uh, technology is, is making sure that it keeps the data um, secure. Blockchain technology can still be hacked. Don't get it, you know, don't make the mistake of thinking, oh, it's, it's fully secure. There's, there's always a way that something can be hacked, but this is uh, a technology that <clears throat> really makes it harder for anyone to fake information because you'll have um, like uh, NTFS, right? You're looking at images or pictures, or it could be uh, a patent, right? It will show the ownership of, of that information or of that patent or that image to that individual that created it, right? And then it will show, um, it will track the who owns it next and, and so forth. Um, so where you're looking at technology uh, growing in the, here in these graphs, in the public cloud, in the private cloud, in hybrid clouds. You start seeing that throughout the years coming up, 
it's going to start growing and more and more and more. Um, the industries that are utilizing this is in agricultural and energy, finance, healthcare, and information technology are definitely the top trends, right? Supply chain. This is going to be huge in supply chain as well. Um, so you're looking at logistics in that part. Next slide. So within um, these technologies and trends that we're seeing, they're all gonna have some type of vulnerability. Um, the US and a lot of um, countries in, uh, in the world are having tremendous you know, uh, security breaches. Um, and so cybersecurity is, is very important for all different uh, industries. And these are the main ones that, um, that the US is specifically is targeting. There's a lot of jobs out there. You run into situations where it's hard to get a internship, right? Um, but that's, those are things that um, uh, employers and government agencies like um, the Job Center of Lake County are trying to provide opportunities for individuals to get into an internship in the technology industry. At the same time, we have employers like IT expert systems that will provide these internships for individuals to you know, get that hands-on experience at the same time, uh, receive training and, and look at you know, the latest and greatest in, in, um, in, in cybersecurity, as well as um, taking certifications that deal with uh, um, uh, hacking. Right, there's uh, uh, different uh, organizations that provide best practice and certifications for cybersecurity. And, you know, Amazon is one of them. But as you can see here in these graphs, um, on the the one on the right, you'll have areas where you can be vulnerable in in having a, a cyber um, security attack, right, or receiving an email a malware. Um, and just kind of keep uh, up to date with what's going on so you don't fall victim to, you know, a, a phishing email and you think it's, a, it's an email from, you know, it can be from like Netflix or from Amazon saying that your account um, needs to be reset, right? And then you open it up. Well, now you've already uh, enabled that hacker to get inside your system. Right, so always double check uh, your emails or any um, any type of tax as well that you're receiving. So keeping up to date with everything that's going on with different ways that hackers are being creative is key. And then looking at what's out there for employment opportunities uh, so you can get into that industry. Again, with our programs, we do work with employers and provide these types of uh, um, internships. All right, next slide. We're gonna look at um, the hard and soft skills in the IT industry. Next slide. So the top skills here in, um, in IT, soft skills are non-technical skills that, uh, that relate to how you work, including how you interact with colleagues, solve problems and manage your work, right? So technical skills and all that, those are things that everyone can, can pick up and learn, right? By being able to communi communicate effectively, um, collaborate, right? Work effectively with, um, with your colleagues, be creative, right? Creativity is key um, within this industry because you have to really think outside the box. Um, one solution can work one day, it may not work on another day. Um, so critical thinking, accountability, teamwork, emotional intelligence, empathy, and project management, right? These are key um, soft skills, soft skills to make sure you know you you hone in and, and refine all the time, right? Uh, when you start a new job, you have to learn how to work with new individuals, right? So these are things that are constantly being looked at um, other than just those hard skills that we're going to get into, right? Next, next slide.
So the top hard skills in, in, in the IT industry. So again, the hard skills are part of the skills uh, set that are required for a job. They include the expertise uh, necessary for individuals to do the job successfully. There are job specifics that are typically listed on job postings and job descriptions, right? So for example, um, if you are a web developer, um, you're gonna need to know certain uh, uh, programming languages, right? It could be HTML, CSS, JavaScript, um, Python, and so forth. Um, also having the credentials within uh, industry leaders um, like CompTIA, having CompTIA A+, plus, say if you wanna be a computer technician, um, usually you wanna start off with the uh, CompTIA A+, plus, Network+, plus, um, and sp specifically the Security+, plus too. And these other uh, certifications are from um, industry recognized um, credentials for in cybersecurity, as well as having manufacturer uh, technologies. So understanding, you know, um, for example, a storage array where you house, you know, hundreds of, of hard drives where it keeps the company's um, data database and, and data information, uh, the information from the, from the company, they're gonna have different manufacturers like HP, IBM, um, you have Dell. Knowing that technology um, is key. You know, everything is gonna have the same features and functionalities, but they have it, they have a different way of doing it, right? Um, going to their council and understanding their um, their GUI, right? Their graphic user interface. Um, so these are some technologies that you definitely want to keep in, um, uh, up to date. And VMware for vir virtualization, for virtual environments, as well as Microsoft Hyper-V. These are some top um, hard skills that you want to have. So you want to have knowledge and hands-on experience. Again, if you're just getting into this industry, um, it's important we're looking at internships um, or even doing it at home. These are applications and softwares that you can sometimes download for free and create your own virtual environment and work on servers. Um, carve out LUNs for different departments that need more capacity, right? So these are great ways of uh, honing in or improving your, your skills um, that are related to uh, these industries, I'm sorry, within these different uh, manufacturers and as well as certifications. All right, next slide. So we're gonna look at uh, careers here in the uh, IT industry. So top IT occupations in uh, 2022, nationally, you're looking at data scientists, cybersecurity, uh, software developers and software uh, QA, computer and information research scientists, uh, web developers, digital interface designers, IT project managers, IT support specialists. So uh, a couple of things that um, are also trending are uh, graphic design, because as you can all see during the pandemic, a lot of individuals started getting into gaming. So this has been also trending. Um, Esports has grown and um, more than doubled in the past couple of um, two years. But during the pandemic, a huge peak. So if you're a great artist, you can get into digital graphics and create these different um, environments um, that people are getting into where you're looking at virtual reality. Or, again, these are in the gaming world. They have the programmers. Um, you have individuals and companies that are hiring for all these different types of positions and they need to have uh, those types of individuals with those experience. Uh, so again, if you, you can come from a different industry, you can be an art major and work on digital graphics and get into the IT industry 
or again, this will be more on the gaming side, right? So uh, computer systems and applications, um, network, network administrators, uh, network engineers. Um, and that's again, on like on the hardware side and software, uh, mobile applications, uh, again, computer equipments, you know, different employers have uh, different environments, right? So you might have employers that have thin clients, which is just a small little computer that logs into the network um, and uses all the resources, but right? it doesn't have, um, it could probably have like a, a, a solid state drive or a flash memory for the OS. Um, and so thin clients are completely different than an actual PC or, um, you know, a, a desktop computer or a laptop, right? And knowing the difference between those types of equipment and the infrastructures, right? A, a company may have iSCSI as a backbone or fiber optic, you know, fiber channel um, for their backbone. So understanding those different technologies is also important. Next slide. So again, looking at the top occupations, um, software developers, and you're looking at a between 2022 to 2032, an increase of 20%. Um, the medium hourly earnings, looking at 49, um, close to $50 an hour, right? Education and bachelor's degree, uh, top skills needed, coding, programming, uh, languages. Computer support, um, sorry, computer user support or specialist, 14% increase. Early uh, starting early wage around 25, um, $25.24. Some college or no degrees, but here's where you can look at certifications. Um, you know, when we talk to individuals that are trying to get into this industry, you know, they probably they do this as a hobby, but they want to really get into it and, and have a job. Um, they just say an, an IT support or as a computer technician. They say, oh, I don't have, you know, funding. If they're laid off, un, um, unemployed or underemployed, they can apply for our programs and we can send them, uh, we can cover the, their tuition at a training provider where they can get the, the, the certifications, well, the, the training and the hands-on experience and have their certifications paid for um, with the WIOA grant funds that we have available, right? At the same time, as you become eligible, you are also able to go into an internship. So you actually will be working and doing the hands-on experience of a computer technician or as a network system uh, engineer or uh, network admin. Uh, the other, the third one that um, talking about here is a computer systems analyst. You're looking at 10% uh, increase from that time frame, and then starting wages $43.60, a bachelor's degree, and having experience with Microsoft Office um, suite. All right, so. Next slide, please. We're gonna have the last poll question come up. All right, which path in IT are you in or want to pursue? We have computer system and then applications, uh, network, hardware, software, mobile applications, computer equipment, and computer infrastructure. I'll give it a couple seconds. All right, go ahead and share the results. To our audience, we have about 25% in computer systems and application, another 25% on hardware, uh, 25 on software, 
and then computer equipment, um, 25%. All right, thank you everyone for participating in that poll. Now I'm gonna turn it over to Haresh from IT Expert Systems. Good morning, everyone. My name is Haresh Gudani. I'm the Director of Business Development at IT Expert System. At IT Expert System, we are the training provider. So uh, we can uh, provide training, anything in IT. We offer more than 90 courses, 10 different career paths. Now, I want to thank uh, Wilson, Santi, and uh, Lake County Workforce Development for giving me the opportunity to be here today. So thank you. Next slide, please. So at IT Expert System, like I said, we have 10 different career paths you can uh, choose from. We offer more than 90 courses. Uh, you, good news, you don't have to have IT background. All we need is your commitment, your dedication. If you want to do something, if you want to change a career, if you want to uh, get a nice job in IT, all we need is your four months of dedication and commitment. In four months, uh, 12 hours a week investment, and we can prepare you for a high, a uh, higher pay job in IT. Uh, of course, we also have a internship opportunity where you get hands-on uh, hands experience. Uh, at IT Expert System, we do have, uh, currently we do have some opportunities for internship, which is a business analyst, uh, business process manager, office admin, uh, PHP developer or web application, uh, QA, and system analyst. Those are the current opportunities we have for the internship where we, uh, you work with us for 40 hours a week and uh, you get a hands-on experience. Next slide, please. So uh, again, I wanna thank uh, work, uh, Lake County Workforce Development because uh, two years ago, uh, we had 14 individuals coming from there who went through the training at IT Expert System. And then uh, they also participated in an internship program. Uh, most of uh, 13 out of 14, they're all having a six-figure salary uh, job in IT right now. Jeremy is one of those 14 uh, candidates we had. Jeremy uh, Montanez, he joined us two years ago. He had no clue what IT was. Today, he's still working with us. Uh, as a full-time employee, as a system administrator. So we can basically prepare anyone. If you uh, don't know IT, don't worry about it. We can prepare you for that. We just need your dedication uh, and uh, 12 hours a week investment for next four to six months and we can get you uh, your dream job, basically. Uh, I think that includes my presentation. I will pass it over to Wilson again. Thank you, Harish. Now we will, <clears throat> we're going to look at the upcoming events here at the Job Center. Next slide. So I work for Trends and Industry Snapshots that <clears throat> are coming up. Here we have Transportation uh, Distribution and Logistics, so TDL, on Wednesday, June 8th at 11 a.m. in the healthcare industry on Wednesday, August 10th at 11 a.m. and then manufacturing on Wednesday, October 12th at 11 a.m. Now, these uh, industry snapshots will, again, will go into the details of um, what's locally, um, what's going on here locally with within those industries and the employers um, that fall into those uh, categories. Definitely great opportunity to see, um, get to know the employer, uh, op the job openings that they may have or internships that they have. Um, so definitely uh, highly recommend uh, you guys registering and attending as well. Next slide. So if you're also looking for um, employment opportunities, 
please visit um, Higher Lake County. Uh, when you go to our website, you'll you'll find uh, who's hiring, and you'll go into uh, Higher Lake County, and you'll look at uh, the current employers within <clears throat> four industries um, that we that we have highlighted, and you'll see the different logos of the employers. Um, each uh, it's kind of like um, each little buckets of um, each section with the employers are you'll have. Um, you might have some employers with a WIOA uh, logo on it. Those are um, employers that are doing or are open to uh, internships um, that they're looking for candidates to fill those uh, internship opportunities in, right? So employers, if you want to get on our job board, you can click on employers and submit um, your information to the business services team and job seekers. Um, the same, you can submit your uh, resume or uh, resume and cover letter for uh, internship opportunities or for employment opportunities as well. All right, next slide. Now, I did mention in the beginning that uh, you can find um, this present, you will be able to find this today's presentation on our YouTube channel, um, as well as you know the other social media platforms that you can follow us on or like, um, that you can get up-to-date information on upcoming um, events or workshops, like resume workshops, um, five steps to your next job. Um, so these are a lot of different, um, resources are available. Um, so if, if you're not signed up for our newsletter or email blast, um, you can follow us on our social media platforms and be informed of upcoming events as well. All right. Next slide. So at this time, um, we're opening it up for any questions um, that the audience may have. 